What's up, ladies and gentlemen? Welcome to day 52 of, there we go, gotta let it stick, of Autodesk Fusion. Today, I'm gonna take that cube that we did yesterday, that net um, of a cube, kind of disassembling into the T pattern of the net. I'm gonna, how could we then take this and go the next step further with it? And what I'm gonna talk about is how to do multiple uh, assemblies or disassemblies for the same object. Um, the reason for this is, so say if you wanted a specific explosion of like a sub-assembly, then you can have a specific storyboard for that sub-assembly. Or if you want to dissemble it in a different way for whatever reason, um, learning how to do the same design file not having to do a bunch of design files for a bunch of different things. You, all you can do is create a new storyboard. So down here in the bottom, I'm gonna uh, take what I've got so far, I'm gonna click on new storyboard. And uh, we're gonna click okay. Now we're just, it's gonna take us right back to where we're at. You can tell I had some practice here because by default this is storyboard 10. So what we got here is I've done the cross shape. Let's see, just watch that in action. It's your geometric net falls into a cross, and then we have also a T shape, or geometric net of the cube falling into a T. How can we get away with doing something um, where it does something other than that? So, I don't know how we did that, so let's delete that. Let's get this one here. Let's work with storyboard 11. Now, I'm just gonna do another geometric net of this one really quickly. And I thought another one would be fun to do would be to um, unroll it kind of in that Z pattern. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this, I'm going to uh, split transforms. Let's go ahead and take this piece out, bring it down and click okay. Now the rest of it, I want to kind of roll together. So what I'm gonna do then is click on this escape key, click on new transform, I'm gonna click holding down the control key, I'm going to click all of this, except for that bottom piece. That looks good. And so what I'm gonna do now is we are going to rotate 90 degrees, bring it over, and bring it down. Click OK. And I'm just gonna keep on going with these pieces right here. So, New transform, holding down the control key, clicking on these pieces right here. Let's bring this over and rotate again. Now, because of my pivot for my rotates, uh, that's why the rotating about, not about the pivot you would imagine or assume, is because the pivot being chosen for that rotation is not on the object, it's like some distance away. It's not too bad, it's just it doesn't quite do what you expect it to do on the first get go. And so all we're gonna do is we're gonna keep on going from here. So transform, uh, we're gonna do this and this piece. We're gonna bring it over and rotate. Let's bring it over just a little bit more. There we go, click okay. And then last but surely not least, Let's do one more. So we're gonna transform this piece. We're going to rotate it 90 degrees, bring it down and bring it over. Click OK. Now I should be when this plays, it's gonna do all of it at the same get go. And that happened really, really quickly. How can we edit some of that? So down here, what you'll notice is what are these components doing? and we can change where they do um, that transformation in the timeline. So what I'm gonna do is uh, find those pieces where they rotated and uh, change where they're at. So component six, that's good. I wanted that to fold out first. Everything else, um, I wanted to, to unfold second. So component three, uh, it's gonna go downstream. So there we go. Uh, let's do, why don't I do this? Let's just 
go ahead and move all of these down just a little bit. That way my transformations aren't all happening at the same time. Now I do need to fix the view. So let's go up here and fix this view. I'm going to delete these two. So right click and delete. And then I'm going to fix that view of whatever I want it to be. And that looks okay. So let's go ahead and hit play, see what happens. That looks okay. And so what we can do is we can push some of these out to be a little bit further um, or do in a different order. And you can play around with this timeline down here. So if I were to move some of these over, let's try this out. So that way students can kind of see what happens a little bit better. That happened just a hair bit out of order, so let's fix that. What's, what component is this one going to be? That's component four. We want that to go second, so let's do that. Click play. There you go, and you kind of manipulate however you want it to, to unfold. I think how I like the second one best. So let's see how that does. Uh, that looks okay. I'm not super, exactly super happy with it. So I'm gonna go ahead and pull all these back down. You'll notice every once in a while, uh, Fusion will kind of, uh, I would say glitch out and that black bars will show up. I don't know if that's my computer issue with, or it's a server issue on the Fusion side. All I know is if I just wait, it kind of fixes itself. Alrighty folks, there we're gonna go. We're gonna call this, let's rename this the Z pattern. Uh, let's do you know, Z pattern. Right, so Z shape. All right, and there we go. So I have to believe what I'm gonna do for my students is I'm gonna give them a shape that's not a cube and then have them disassemble it and make an animation of at least three different geometric nets of those shapes. I'll do it in one uh, get go. Now what you can do is you can publish this as a video uh, and so that way uh, students can create these and put it on YouTube or even give it to a geometry teacher for them to use in their classrooms. Alrighty guys, that's going to be it for this video. If you have any questions, let me know and I will catch you on the next one.